Listen, um, before we play this last song, um, I want to take this opportunity to say real quick, uh, we want to thank, I don't know what you said, we want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming here today and making this great day as special as it could fucking be. Seriously. Not only do I want to thank you guys for that, I also want to thank you guys for putting up with my uh, fucked up voice tonight. And I want to thank my cousin for holding up the this, this show and doing my parts for me when necessary. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Always. Always. Lastly, lastly, I would like to thank each and every one of these fucking performers that put on a great show tonight and make this great day what the fuck it was. Shadow, Jer, Ramirez, Shakewell, Knight Lavelle, and all the fucking boys from Turnstile and our DJ Crystal fucking Beth. Make some fucking noise! Yo. G59! 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 Yo, 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 yo. Uh, I try to make this quick, because usually whenever I start doing this, I just start fucking blah, 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 blah. That's not true. Uh, That's not yeah. true. We'll see what happens. Uh, I want to piggyback off what Ruby said. Uh, can you guys make some noise one more time for these guys up here? There's a... Uh, there's only so much me and my cousin can do ourselves, and G59 wouldn't be what it is without this cast of brothers I have in front of me making it what it is. So, I think that's important and that needs to be recognized. Uh, and now, on a more serious note, you know, oh, fuck. So, yeah, I get emotional whenever I talk about this because I, I shouldn't be here, you know what I'm saying? I should be dead by how I was living. Uh, I want you... <laughs> you, guys, you guys really don't understand how much you've saved me and my cousin's life, you know? Uh, you guys have given us a purpose to live and to keep waking up and to keep marching on and to keep fighting no matter what goes down. And uh, I just want to relate to you guys a little bit because even to this day, even with all you know the success and everything we've been able to do, um, as we kept getting more successful, I thought that would fix every problem I had. <laughs> yeah, right. If only I had X, Y, and Z, then all the problems in my life would disappear. Well, I'm here to tell you guys it doesn't work like that. The more shit I actually got, the worse my life got. I got to a point to where the drugs wasn't working anymore. You know, the drugs kept me alive for a long time, but they stopped working. And at that point, I got to the darkest point of my life and I literally wanted to blow my fucking head off. And just like Adi said tonight, with his voice, and he thanked me for helping him on his parts, you know, there's a bigger message to that because there's been plenty of days where I needed him and I needed a lot of other people to carry me when I, when I just couldn't function, when I couldn't do my thing and he was there for me and everyone else was fucking there for me. So, so when I tell him always, that means I, I will always, whether it's on the stage or whether it's at home, I will always, always have him and my brother's backs for life. And I want you guys, because you guys are part of our fucking family. I want you guys to take care of each other. We have a great community here, and I want you guys to take care of each other. As G59 fam, I need y'all to lean on each other. I need y'all to help each other out. Don't turn your back on your brother. Don't turn your back on your sister. Be there for them. And one more thing. You know, there's plenty of times, uh, you know, getting sober didn't fix this, but it helped. But there's plenty of times, and, and people taught me that knew better than me, and I'm so thankful for them, that 
there's this voice that pops up in my head that tells me, you know, I'm not good enough and it wants to alienate me and isolate me, make me feel like, you know, I'm not loved and this and that. And I just want to tell you guys, if you ever hear that voice in your head, I'm going to tell you what some people told me exactly. Fuck that voice. It's bullshit. It's a fucking lie. You guys are loved. You guys are worthy. I don't give a fuck how corny that sounds. I don't give a fuck, dude. You need to fucking hear that, bro. So many people fucking kill themselves every day because no one goes up to them. And it could be as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's the answer to the problem, but it could be as simple as that by just letting someone know you love them. So I want to let you guys fucking know that we fucking love y'all so fucking much and you are never alone. Sorry for being long-winded. It's just something that I'm really passionate about because you guys were a big part in saving my life. And to those I love, uh, thank you for sticking around. I'm not gonna sing this, so I'm depending on all of you to sing this shit. Let's go. Sí, 